A reading from the Acts of the Apostles Everyone came running towards Peter and John in great excitement, to the portico of Solomon, as it is called, where the man was still clinging to Peter and John. When Peter saw the people, he addressed them, Why are you so surprised at this? Why are you staring at us, as though we had made this man walk by our own power or holiness? You are Israelites, and it is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of our ancestors, who has glorified his servant, Jesus, the same Jesus you handed over and then disowned in the presence of Pilate after Pilate had decided to release him. It was you who accused the Holy One, the Just One, you who demanded the reprieve of a murderer while you killed the Prince of Life. God, however, raised him from the dead, and to that fact we are the witnesses. And it is the name of Jesus which, through our faith in it, has brought back the strength of this man whom you see here and who is well known to you. It is faith in that name that has restored this man to health, as you can all see. Now I know, brothers, that neither you nor your leaders had any idea of what you were really doing. This was the way God carried out what he had foretold, when he said through all his prophets that his Christ would suffer. Now you must repent and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped out, and so that the Lord may send the time of comfort. Then he will send you the Christ he has predestined, that is, Jesus, whom heaven must keep till the universal restoration comes which God proclaimed, speaking through his holy prophets. Moses, for example, said, The Lord God will raise up a prophet like myself for you from among your own brothers. You must listen to whatever he tells you. The man who does not listen to that prophet is to be cut off from the people. In fact, all the prophets that have ever spoken, from Samuel onwards, have predicted these days. You are the heirs of the prophets, the heirs of the covenant God made with our ancestors when he told Abraham, In your offspring all the families of the earth will be blessed. It was for you in the first place that God raised up his servant and sent him to bless you by turning every one of you from your wicked ways. The Word of the Lord A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke The disciples told their story of what had happened on the road and how they had recognised Jesus at the breaking of bread. They were still talking about all this when Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. In a state of alarm and fright, they thought they were seeing a ghost. But he said, Why are you so agitated, and why are these doubts rising in your hearts? Look at my hands and feet. Yes, it is I indeed. Touch me and see for yourselves. A ghost has no flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and feet. Their joy was so great that they still could not believe it, and they stood there dumbfounded. So he said to them, Have you anything here to eat? And they offered him a piece of grilled fish, which he took and ate before their eyes. Then he told them, This is what I meant when I said, while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, in the prophets and in the Psalms, has to be fulfilled. He then opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, So, you see how it is written that the Christ would suffer, and on the third day rise from the dead, and that in his name repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses to this. The Gospel of the Lord